Hello, Alex from Lunker City, gonna be showing you a few ways to rig the four inch Sluggo. So, let's get into it. First way we're going to show is with a jig head, and this is gonna be the Prolite jig head. We, using a eighth ounce ball. We also have the footballs as well. I'm gonna be using a ball for this. First thing I'm gonna do is to cut off about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to line up the hook along the side of the bait and see about where that hook should, should, should come out. Right about the A in patent, there's actually the words sluggo patent on the uh, name, if I can get that in the camera for you. So you can actually line the hook up and see where that should come out. I'm gonna use my two fingers to make sure the hook goes down the center of the bait as I go along. So push that down into the center of the body of the bait and I'm gonna push that hook right along, keeping it in the center of the bait as I move down the body and pushing it out where we lined it up. You can then push the nose of the bait all the way up and what you should end up with is a nice straight bait. So that's option number one. You can also see that it is straight top down so that it's not crooked left or right. You wanna make sure that it's centered. So that is option number one. Option number two, you can rig this on a drop shot. So I'm going to grab the number two size VGB drop shot hook. Let me just grab that for you guys so you can see. So that's the number two size VGB drop shot hook. Uh, if you wanted to, you can use the one-aught size, uh, which is a bigger size, but based on the size of the bait, based on um, how big it is or how small it is is what makes me decide that I want the number two. So the number two VGB drop shot hook, and you're actually just gonna place this in the nose of the bait, push it out, and just like that, you are done. So you also have the uh, drop shot weight on the bottom of that. So this is the quarter ounce tungsten drop shot weight. We also do have lead, the original uh, Bakudan drop shot weights. We have that in a skinny and we have it in a round as well. So right now I'm using a quarter ounce tungsten drop shot weight and I'll show this on the front camera. So you have the number two VGB drop shot hook. You have the four inch sluggo and you have a liter down to the quarter ounce tungsten drop shot weight and that's the drop shot setup so that's number two and number three is you're actually going to use a texposer hook so uh, you can texas rig it i have a number uh, one aught so let me show you here a one aught texposer hook and you're actually going to use the same let me move this so that you guys can see here you're going to use the same method by lining up the hook along the side of the bait and make sure that you guys can see in the camera here line it up and figure out where that hook is going to come out on a nice straight rig because you don't want to do it too far down or not far down enough it won't come out straight so you line the hook up and it's going to come right about the p in patent so first thing you do is push the hook point into the nose of the bait and you want the hook coming out, just basically pa past the barb, push it past the barb. You're gonna want it to come out, and as it comes out, same thing. So if I'm looking at a top-down view, you want it to come out straight down the middle of the belly. You don't want it coming out one of the sides. You want it coming out straight, straight top-down view here. So you can see it came out straight down the belly. Slide that all the way up, do a half turn, and you're gonna push that nose over that offset and line up the hook and you can push it in again pushing it in the center of the belly and as it comes out the top make sure that it comes out the center of the top of the bait and when you do that you end up with a nice straight rig like that what happens is if you come out too far or not far enough i'll go a little too far and this is why i do i line it up ahead of time now you have a crooked rig so that is why it's important to line it up ahead of time so that when you line it up and you rig it, it comes out nice and straight. So that's three different ways to rig the 
four inch sluggo.